Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I wanted to talk to you about how was it like for me to live in Kaust. Kaus stands for King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. And we lived there for about two years. Uh, and that was a few weeks ago because I just moved back to the US. And I've been talking about how, how was it like for me, a woman in my 40s, to move to Saudi from the US and to live there. But now I wanted to also talk to you about how was it for me to live in Kaus. Kaos is an amazing complex, it's huge, it's right by the Red Sea and I had lots of experiences and things that I would like to share with you because when I went there I traveled with my one-year-old son and he was so little and I had to learn about so many things of the country, their culture and also how was it like to live there by myself as a woman because I, I had so many ex expectations as a woman not knowing exactly if the things and the rumors and the things that I was reading about women there were true or not. And also adapting as a mom, trying to raise my child in an environment that I felt that it was going to be the right one for him. Um, living in Kaos was an amazing opportunity for me to understand so much about the country. Because Kaos is beautiful and it's very Western, but at the same time, it keeps lots of the... Uh, um, Saudi culture. There are many people from many places and areas of the world living there, many scientists, people that are really clever. And it's an university. It's an university like the same. I've been living in university towns and I can say this is an university town. Of course, it's like a university complex because you're gonna live inside uh, a compound that is surrounded by walls because of protection. I guess they need to protect their people. And uh, also, but you're gonna feel that the, that the university is completely surrounded by houses and supermarkets and shopping malls, restaurants, of course, very little shopping places, but still really nice. And when I got there, I was surprised to see the size of the houses. <laughs> I was living in one of the smallest houses. It was a house and it's still huge. It was so, so big. And I had lived in big houses, but I never, so it was gonna be so big. It is big. The space is really is really good. They provide lots of things for you. So they help you. You can call the 900 number and you can just let them know that something is not working in your house and they can come and fix it immediately. That was something I loved. Even to change a bulb. And I know I was lazy sometimes, but you know, when I was having problems with a bulb or something, I was just calling the 900 number and somebody was just coming to my house immediately. It was really nice to feel that support. Because also when you just knew in, in a country like that, in a country with such culture that it has been so, you know, enclosed before and you don't know much about, you feel like you don't even know where a place to buy appliances is or where you can buy a bulb or where you can buy a cable or anything. So you, you're just learning things and then they help you with that transition. And even the workers, they let you know places or things that you could do and you can, as a woman, what is safest for you to do. And it was good. In cows, you're allowed to drive. You can drive as a lady. You have no problem to drive and you don't even need to wear the dress code that they have outside the complex. Outside the complex, you need to wear the abaya. And if you have been in Saudi or if you're already in cows, you know that once you get to the airport, you need to wear the abaya. Um, in cows, once you get to cows, you don't have that, that um, it's not compelling to wear the abaya. Uh, and, but, but it's good if you can just dress, you know, a bit more conservative, not showing too much skin or, you know, very short skirts or shorts or things like that. You have a beach and the beach is really nice. I love the beach. I used to go to the beach almost every day with my son to, 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 to swim. He prefers beaches, he prefers the ocean rather than swimming pools. And even though we had lots of swimming pools and they were really nice and some of them even had very nice temperatures because they were um, very warm uh, when it was a bit cold outside, um, 
he really loved the beach and, and I, I was taking him all the time and it's a very nice beach it's, it's uh, you're gonna have lifeguards working on duty uh, all the time during uh, when you're gonna work, use the beach and uh, is I think it's very safe um, he was wearing this vest life vest and going with me uh, swimming very deep he had no problem. I didn't feel that he wasn't safe or um, there were any problems in the ocean with him. I felt really good. So I think it's a really nice place to take your children if you want to. They also have a very nice playground by the beach and the playground is, is excellent if you have a child that doesn't like the water but you want to swim and you are with somebody else that can look after your child and your child can be playing while you are swimming. It works really well. Cows is a very good place for families. It's excellent for families. If you're raising a child or your children in cows, you're gonna be fine because it's very safe. It is, actually, I, I feel that Saudi in general is a safe place, but cows is very, very safe. You have security guards on duty all the time. They are always there watching and looking at the neighbors and looking at what everything everything that is happening. Um, and I think things, even minor things there don't get overlooked. They are always looking after everybody uh, living there. They have very strict rules with driving. You have to be very careful because there are always children in, on the streets. Children like to go with bikes and they usually go and play outside and because cows is surrounded by houses So you have to be very careful when you drive over there because uh, You can you, you can have an accident with a child if you're not paying attention It you shouldn't be using your phone or doing anything that it will keep your attention For you driving while you are doing it because you you can cause an accident over there. There are many children. It's a city or, or it's, a, it's a complex that it has so many families. And we have to be very careful with that. Um, as a mother, I was concerned about the availability of childcare or daycare. I went for the ocean because you have the option to have a nanny. Uh, and it's gonna be a very nice nanny that you can get from an agency. But I wasn't into getting a nanny and I wanted to get my child into school and starting him into that environment of childcare and school and going to daycare and interacting with other kids. So that's what I did, but it was a big transition for me, especially for me. It wasn't for him at all, nothing. He was fine. But me, oh God, it was a huge thing. But I have to tell you something. The daycare in Gauss is located at the island and is amazing. I have nothing negative to say about them in my experience. I had the best experience ever with that daycare. The director is just amazing. She's amazing. She's so understanding. Uh, she's a person that really knows, you know, about your needs as a, as a parent and that you want your child to be in an environment where he's going to be growing and learning new things. So Amina made all my transition a lot easier and she was very reassuring that what I was doing, it was the best thing to do. And I loved her. And I love all his teachers. His teachers were amazing. Juliet, Miss Christy, uh, Jojo. The, all his teachers were really, really sweet. And, and he had the best time. That's one of the things that I miss. And I know I'm never gonna get a place like that anywhere else in the world. I know that. Because it's, it's really nice that they care and we had a great experience. He was there for almost two years and and he was really, really having a great time. They have schools in cows available, and my friends, um, because I made lots of very good friends, excellent, amazing friends there, and they have their children in school, and they are learning a lot, they are doing well, they like the school, so it's a very good school environment also. Um, they have the high school too, and then, 
uh, I think that the thing is that once you they have to go to that transition from high school to university, they need to do something because there's nothing available there for university. Uh, you know, and I mean, to study like an undergraduate. Um, uh, another thing interesting in Kaos is that you're gonna find uh, food. Uh, there are restaurants and you also have Tamimi uh, markets. Uh, Tamimi market is the supermarket and is uh, the, the manager of the, uh, the Tamimi market there is very uh, receptive. So if you need anything, if there is anything that you would like them to bring or have, you can just talk to them. They are very, very open and they are really nice to their customers. Um, he he can just bring try to bring whatever you need and and he's gonna try to do your to do their best to to accommodate you and to bring you the food that you need and i always found everything i was looking for there always the guys working in that supermarket are so amazing they are amazing guys they are from philippines most of them some of them are from saudi some of them are um, from india and wow i tell you they are really really nice guys and i had the best experience ever with them i really like them and you also have a cinema. I didn't know about the cinema until a few months later when I, I got there. I was thinking like, oh no, that cinema must be like, you know, a few chairs there and then a screen on a projector. Do you know me? <laughs> it was like, what? Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be good. And when I went there for the first time with one of my best friends, Gretty, Oh my God, I was just surprised to see the whole thing. It was a real cinema. It's, it has nothing to envy to all these big cinemas in the West. It's really nice. And it is interesting because when I got there, they didn't have cinemas anywhere else uh, but in Co Kaust. Uh, there were no cinemas anywhere else in Saudi. But after, a few months later, they started with cinemas. Now the cinemas are huge, amazing cinemas and, you know, everywhere else because now the king allowed cinemas to start businesses there. And the, the cinema there in Kaos is, uh, is impressive. It's quite impressive because it's a, it's a nice cinema. They also make shows and shows, sometimes they have theater and shows, uh, very nice shows and musical musicals there and, and I had a great time. We went to this musical, it was from France. It was a guy dressing like a bubble or something like that and, and Adam had a blast. He had a great time, he really enjoyed that. So yeah, Kaos is always receptive to helping their people to have a good time because that's what they want. They want people to work hard in what they do but also to entertain and to relax. You're gonna find that you're gonna work from uh, Sunday to Thursday and the, the days that you're gonna have free, the weekends are usually Fridays and Saturdays, but it's fine. And because they have so many people from different cultures in the world, you're gonna find amazing people. And I made the best friendships ever in that place. I think you have the opportunity to make such great friendships. I had friends from Italy, amazing friends from Italy. I miss Margarita, she's one of my best friends from Italy. And I made friends from Venezuela, my own country. I made friends from Chile. I made friends from Spain. I love them, you know, from Paraguay. And uh, it was so nice to, to, to have this very nice mix of cultures in one place. And because you feel so safe, so you're gonna have the opportunity to also uh, engage in other activities like like gatherings and dinners and breakfast uh, with friends or you have the yoga activities too, you have sports. There are lots of things to do. What I would say about Gauss is with single people. <laughs> I have I found that the, all the single people I found in Gauss were a bit bored because okay there are many activities and things to do but you know because it's uh, forbidden to drink any alcohol so they can't engage in these uh gatherings that like they have a great time having parties and also drinking alcohol because it's is forbidden and uh uh is 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 
not too easy for them to find uh, a partner or a couple there because uh, many things are not allowed for them to do. So that's what I think is a bit tricky for single people, but some of them are very focused on what they're going to do and they go and do it and then leave. For, for the ones that are still there and are single, it's a bit trickier. <laughs> so that's what I found with them that is a bit trickier. You're gonna find big roads too. Remember that you have to stick to the road rules. Um, the restaurants, yeah. Oh, and I have to mention they have very nice restaurants too. Uh, you're gonna find very nice food. They have an Italian restaurant that is amazing. I love that Italian restaurant because the food is amazing, especially the 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 seafood salad is unbelievably nice. <laughs> it's really good. Um, they have these very nice areas when you can meet with friends and you can have a good time and you can sit by the sea and see the sunsets and it's, it's really nice. Uh, we used to go to a place called The Monument. Uh, it's a place where you can go and walk. My son was obsessed with that place because it has like a steep road up and down and he was just going there with his bike when he was learning. And he used to do that all the time. Um, he loved that <laughs> and he also loved the playground most playgrounds are with sand there and they play with sand and you you can also find playgrounds with um, uh, grass in the in several areas like the oasis you can find playgrounds uh, that are with grass and if you don't want your son to get dirty um, the other thing is that in Kaos, you, you are allowed to get outside the complex as many times as you want, as you wish, and you can enter back as many times as you wish at any time. You have no restrictions for anything, uh, as long as you show your Kaos ID. And once they, they check that you are part of the complex, that's it, you're going to enter it. The security, they take security seriously there. And they're very strict with their rules with security and guests so check if you want to take any guests with you check uh, how many guests you can take because they are very strict with the rules about guests um, in cows well this is for now what i had to say um oh i forgot to mention they had a very they have a very nice diner my husband used to eat there every every day for his lunch and he, they have so many, you know, different foods available that you can just eat uh, anytime and that's located in the university. So that's something if people are interested to, interested to know, yeah, uh, they have that. Oh, and also, sorry, because I have to mention this too. I used to buy lots of things with Amazon and I love Amazon. I know Amazon is starting now in Saudi, but I, I don't, I'm not familiar with the Amazon system right now. But I am very familiar with Souk. Souk, which is S O U K Q S O U Q, Souk.com. You can find almost anything you want. Um, because I was looking for a special shampoo that I use for my hair, that is a two in one shampoo. It's very basic. Uh, I couldn't find it there. I found it in Souk and they can deliver it to Kaust. No problem. You just have to give the address and if you have problems putting the address, just use the Jeddah address. Uh, just use Jeddah as the city and make sure to write your phone number because they always call you. They will always call you once they get to the door. They always going to go to door three, but once they are there, uh, you can tell them that you can either go and pick the, the, the package up yourself, you know, or you can ask them to please give the package to some some somebody in UPS and then you can collect the package later um, 
at Discovery Square where the UPS store is. Uh, no problem, no problem whatsoever. When, before we moved back to the US, we had to ship a few boxes back. And to do that, we went to the UPS store and that's where DHL is. And they can provide you with some boxes. You go and collect the boxes and then you bring the boxes to them. They're gonna be in charge to repackage everything for you and they will bring the boxes and the boxes got here in two days. That was unbelievable, you know. It was so fast. It, it was almost, we were landing and the boxes were landing too, <laughs> something like that. So yeah, it's a very good system. So for now, yeah, now I'm gonna tell you bye. And uh, if you have any comments, please uh, let me know here in the comments below if you would like me to say something or to talk to you about anything else important about cows, let me know because I have lots to say. And um, have a great time. And remember to follow me on my social media so you will know more about what am I doing. <laughs> Take care. Bye.